Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome to a very long cleaning vlog <laughs> by request. Um, it is the June long weekend, previously known as the Queen's birthday. Now it is either the King's birthday or the Monarch's birthday. I have seen both. So either or, um, I think we're going to have a King for at least the next three generations anyway. So I think either whatever you choose to say let me know down below so we are doing it all this is a uh, Sunday that I'm starting this and then this will run into Monday and what I've done is try to really take you on a journey with me so as I move from room to room and what I do and the order that I'm doing things and some of the things probably won't make any sense and that's okay <laughs> because this is what I do I don't make any sense. But anyway, I've woken up Sunday determined that we're going to clean and I was just going to film anyway and then chop it all up. But then everyone tells me that they love cleaning videos in real time. So that's what you're going to get. This is about an hour and 45 minutes. So if you're dedicated to cleaning along with me, go right ahead. Let me know what you've cleaned with me because I would love to know. So we're stripping the bed and I'm going to wash the pillows because thanks to you guys, someone said to me, do you wash the pillows? And I said, no, I've never thought about that. And I was going to strip wash them and I probably still will because, spoiler alert, I do wash them, but they don't really come up as well as what I expected and they feel very fluffy. So I don't know what's inside these pillows and I don't know whether I've destroyed them by washing them. So I had a look in the cupboard just there to check that we have backup pillows because I'm guessing that these pillows are going to take a while to dry, which they do. So luckily our washing machine we got last year and it doesn't have the middle spindle anymore. It's just a big open drum. So I can fit a lot of stuff in there, but I'm still pretty careful with it. And I'm able to put both pillows in there with a little bit of fabric softener. Uh, sorry, just the fabric wash. I don't use fabric softener and put that on there. Okay, back to the bedroom to finish what we started and also want to air out the bed. I have no idea. I just saw it online and thought, oh, that's like a good idea. <laughs> Let's pretend we're a proper homemaker. So a fitted sheet there and two black pillowcases. Nothing matches. What's new? I love a fitted sheet, absolutely, even though I'm a trained nurse and I do know how to make a bed properly with a flat sheet in all the corners. The sheet still moves, so clearly a whole semester learning how to make a bed. I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> and here is the electric blanket. I am just pulling off to air it. I am so impressed how white this is. When I did the strip soak, I forgot to do a before and after. I really wish I did. But it has come up so well because we sweat a lot as humans in bed. And so it was really good to be able to get that washed and cleaned here's the mattress topper that i got from muscle mat and oh i love it i love it i love it i love it uh, my hip pain is just gone from sleeping on this it's amazing i'm just i'm ever so grateful that they sent it to me um, there is a discount code down below if you're interested in getting a discount off of that um, that they graciously gave me and yeah it's been such a blessing to me so I thought that by pulling off all the blankets and the electric blanket it would just kind of help air out the bed and I do notice that it kind of helped fluffed it up a little bit as well so I don't know either or and uh, we were just in the lounge room pulling apart some washing that had already been there for about three or four days are you noticing that your clothes are starting to take a lot longer to dry I'm noticing that too, so, but we've got time on our side, so it's fine just to kind of leave things to air dry. In the corridor, I asked my son just to put his bedding, asked him to strip his bed. I normally do it, but I thought I would ask him, that way he can just help me, and also when the sheets are ready, he remade his own bed as well. I think he found it a little bit tricky. You know when you're little and you're trying to make like a fitted sheet, you've got a corner and then you're trying to pull the other corner. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit crazy. 
And here I had a brainwave of using this black stacking tower to put the pillows on to dry. See how fluffy the pillows are? <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this pillow was uh, like a memory foam pillow originally or something. I don't know. But the pillow feels very chunky. <laughs> So I don't know what was in it. Yeah, and my hands, something came off of it like grit or something. I really should strip wash these pillows as well because it's been a week later when I'm editing this and we still haven't got them on the bed. They took like four or five days to dry. So I'm tempted to strip wash them and see how they go. And then if they fall apart, oh well. But we have other pillows ready to go. Okay, all the bedding is going to go in and we're going to wash it. Oh yeah, so I decided to get changed because I figured I was going to be in and out of the house, just the backyard, but it's a bit easier to move around in clothes compared with a dressing gown. And also if I end up doing any dishes later on, it's a little less bulky having a jumper on. Uh, don't get it twisted. However, I am living in my PJ pants <laughs> because I do have my track pants ready to be washed in the next load which i don't actually get around to doing in this video uh, so that will be saved for another video and then somehow i'm trying to figure out how to get this thing outside oh it was hilarious and because my logic was we'll stick this outside as it is it will dry in the sun and it will be all good by the evening yep <laughs> I'm about to wash my hair in the laundry sink. I do it all the time. I had a shower last night and didn't wash my hair because going to bed with wet hair is just frustrating. So I wash it in the laundry sink 
Um, I won't show you that, <laughs> but I am showing you the fact that I have to empty out the entire sink as it becomes one of those catch-all areas where I just kind of dump everything in there. And I still had to wash out the wet back that we have, the Bissell, because uh, I use it to clean the uh, dishwasher <laughs> and I just wanted to give it a really good scrub I need to give a really good clean out too to the vacuum cleaner and a few other bits and pieces so I think I'll save all of that and put it all together as a cleaning video because I know you guys really like that probably I'll clean it <laughs> then clean the house and then put that footage at the end so I'll put it all together in another video for you guys but yeah come and have a look at the sink anyway this sink is so frustrating it gets dirty really easily, probably because it's near the back door, but it just seems to catch dirt as well. And it has no actual bath plug. Um, I know I could get probably just a normal flat plug and put it in there, but it's really frustrating because I like to soak things, as you guys would know, and it's really hard to do that in this sink. So I just give it a bit of a wipe out because I would like it semi-clean to be able to wash my hair. And yeah, we'll go from there into the bathroom because our mission is to find towels so today's mission is a whole lot of little mini tasks and to start with we are looking for towels and then we'll look for clothes and then we'll look for zumba clothes which they're all mixed on the floor because my husband says to me it looks like a zumba lady melted on the bathroom floor and i'm like yes yes she did <laughs> I'm a shocker. I leave my clothes there. I really should move them. But hey, it's me who cleans anyway. So here we go. So there's a one or maybe two towels there. We will have to go and see. And we're on the hunt for more towels through the house. And there's a couple here because our skylight that we had, it leaked a little bit with the massive rains that we have. So someone was clever enough to put a towel down there. And we have a couple of random things also in this lounge room. In a separate video, you will see me clean this entire lounge room. There wasn't enough space to edit and put it all together. So keep, stay tuned, subscribe, and you will see some more cleaning things coming up. Oh yeah, the black towels. I We have four black towels and I will wash all four black towels together. And then I'll wash all the other towels um, separately. So yeah. You can see I've washed my hair here, so I hope I remember that I have a towel on my head so when it comes to washing the next load of towels, I'm not like, where's the other towel? <laughs> so the first load of washing that we did for the day is finished, and so now we're going to stick the four black towels in there and have that go, and then we'll hang up the other washing. Can I ask, how do you f hang up a fitted sheet? <laughs> Is it the same 
theory as folding one because I'm lost. I, yeah, no idea what I'm doing some days. Uh, but what I do know is that I need to change plans because I was going to hang this up and then I've had a look at the metal that's there and I've worked out that I think that it's going to rip one of the sheets if I keep this hung up because we hung some of Hubby's shirts up the other day and when he went to pull one down, um, there's a rip in the arm. And so feeling like the worst housewife ever <laughs> that one of his shirts is damaged and I need to go find another one in a shop somewhere. And I've been looking for well over a week now and I still can't find one at a price that I'm willing to pay. So we need to go move all the wires. Oh yeah, I knocked the laundry basket off as I'm doing this. So it's really good. And then I can't quite lift everything myself. I don't know why, because I moved it all there myself in the first place. I think I was just feeling lazy. So I got hubby to help. So through the power of television, here's one we prepared earlier. Ta-da, all gone. And now we will continue to hang out the rest of the washing and give it a go. <laughs> I don't know. Stay tuned. would love to know what your laundry routines look like do you wash every single day do you have set days of the week that you do your washing how do you schedule everything in do you have a large family do you have things that you have to wash every week can you go long periods of time without having to wash things um, my husband washes stuff on a two-week rotation I have to wash my Zumba gear every week um, but other stuff, yeah, can get moved around. My daughter tends to just wash stuff when her basket's full and my son really only washes things when I remind him. But he is like me. He kind of lives in the same clothes over and over again. So we don't always get a lot of washing stuff to happen. So when we do, you end up with big videos like this. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to know how your schedule works because I know it's so different. I know growing up, everyone would always say to me, make sure you wash every day with little kids. But even when my children were younger with autism, they still want to wear the same thing over and over again. So it's not like we always had piles of washing. But yeah, they're just those things that are always told to us. And then they wonder why people struggle with doing things because we're told what to do all the time. And in reality, it doesn't always work. So feel free to share below because I love hearing about other people and how they do things.
it is many hours later as you can see by the sky and it's become very overcast it's gotten very cold very quickly and yeah it's definitely gonna rain these pillows are still soaking wet but they need to come inside because it's easier to dry inside um, and then I spend the next five minutes trying to figure out how this thing collapses I've no idea and I just keep moving around playing with everything and the next thing I know the whole thing just collapsed down for me to pick it up and I was like cool thanks and then we're gonna move it inside and we'll use it to hang up the rest of the washing Just moving the camera angle. <laughs> it was in a really good spot. All I had to do was twist it around. So that was really helpful. All of the bedding is actually dry. So that's so good. Uh, and that's also why I'm really impressed with myself that I got up super early to wash it because we do have backups of everything. But just sometimes it's nicer to be able to get stuff out and then wash it and get it back in again because it does then make you work a bit faster and a bit harder dedicated to clean the whole spot oh yeah look closely my entire peg basket just dropped off the line and i stand there for a minute going oh my god <laughs> so we'll just continue to pull the rest of the sheets down while i just stand here and hide behind it because it's driving me insane and then we'll bring all those inside yeah, I bring them inside. I don't just put them in the basket. Also, then I can hang one of the sheets and that nim on my son's door handle and then he can go and make his own bed. <laughs> he said he struggled to make his bed. Uh, but we are going to bring the towels in. They're still really damp. Uh, I don't want to leave them out overnight, so we'll put them in here to dry. Uh, we'll put the heater on on the inside as well because the lounge room is absolutely freezing. So just a little bit of heater to blast to take the chill out of the air and also to dry the towels I didn't wash all of the towels that we own today I kept some as backup just in case these black ones didn't dry in time because I uh, tell you even though I think it's a good idea to wash everything I'm the kind of person who gets bored halfway through a task and then we end up with a whole lot of wet towels and nothing dry so although I've half completed all of these jobs then there's lots of things that we haven't done and then we're just stuck up the creek without a paddle, as they say. So I will pick up all the pegs and then move inside. Welcome to the Chinese laundry. <laughs> that is our lounge room. And welcome to all of the ducks that we have. We collect ducks. Thank you, James Beach. <laughs> and now they all sit very proudly in the lounge room on top of the heater. They used to move around the house and it was quite entertaining to make them move around. And then it was a guessing game. Where are they today? Uh, and then we all got bored of that. It was great in lockdown, but yeah, we're we'll over it now. So we, yeah, had a few things drying here that I bet you they've been sitting here for about a week. So we'll take those off and eventually put them away. I'm really trying to keep on top of things. And then a week goes by and I think, oh yeah, that's right. I was planning on doing that. So anyway, we're going to hang up this laundry in here. We've put the heater on just to help take the chill out of the air, like I said, and get some things dry. And yeah.
Oh yeah, look at this towel. It's seen better days. <laughs> There's a massive hole in it. I bet you this is one of the towels that was on the line near those metal things and it's ripped a massive hole in it. I'm seriously thinking about stitching over the top like a bit of patchwork um, and maybe stitching the hole up because it's still a pretty good towel actually apart from the fact there's a gaping great big hole in the middle of it and I don't really want to use it entirely for rags it's pretty good though for if I've got to clean a massive spill in the kitchen I did drop part of a cup of water the other day it's just easier to grab a towel than the mop at times so it helps with that I don't know I'll put it in the to-do pile and then we'll figure it out later so here is some super old washing that we've had drying some tea towels funny I've known they've been sitting here forever and a day and then I haven't known where any spare tea towels are so we need to fold them and put them away this was all as well from the strip washing that we did so that was good that they're all nice and clean I'll have that video coming up soon as well <laughs> and yes keep on moving So I'm just hanging up the sheet and pillowcase on the door handle of my son's door and he will make his bed later. I could have done it, but also I know if I go in there, I want to start vacuuming and wiping a few things over and doing other bits and pieces and I wouldn't be filming that for you guys. And so then that's just more work. <laughs> so yeah, that's all you get. I put a light box in my room to just sort of see how it goes with recording and I am pleasantly surprised at how well it lights up the room which I'm really happy about because that's the issue with recording really late at night things are always dark and you don't always get good light but this actually it's really good I'm really happy so we need to now make the bed which is always a task <laughs> and also put some of other clothes away and do some other tidying up.
swear there's nothing better than getting into a freshly cleaned bed at the end of the night. Oh, it's pure bliss. Um, I'm also going to take off the quilt cover that we have on our quilt. I got this, gosh, probably about 10 years ago. Um, as you can see, our wall is blue <laughs> because the idea was that we were going to have a blue bedroom, blue wall with a blue and white pillowcase type thing. And yeah, then I quickly discovered it was boring, <laughs> the, pill the quilt cover set at least. And then I found online, thanks to probably Instagram, Pinterest, one of those two, uh, someone had a beautiful black quilt cover with silver sequins and they had matching curtains and matching lamps and this, that and the other. So you guys see the lamps that we have there and they have little crystal chandelier type things hanging off the edge and went to put the curtains up and of course part of the wall broke so you need to get someone in to fix it. To get the quilt cover, was looking for months and months and months, managed to get everything for like a quarter of the price, so he saved a heap of money and was really happy with it for about 10 years. The thing is now all the sequins on the quilt cover are starting to sort of bend and catch. Also, sometimes the quilt gets dumped on the floor because I'm not really the world's best bed maker and it's getting dirty and it's getting tired and the quilt, like most quilts, moves around in the cover, which is super frustrating and I've just had enough. So I'm taking it off because when I try and pull the quilt up on me at night, I swear I pull more than the quilt cover than the quilt. It's in two different directions. So I'm taking it off. I'm going to wash it and I'm going to donate it. And I will look at getting something new uh, for the bed. For the purpose of this video and also probably just to be a little bit annoying, you can see a bit of a smirk on my face as I come up with this <laughs> very cruel idea. I'm going to make the bed with all the pillows. <laughs> my husband is like, why do we need so many pillows? I said, that's the law. <laughs> he said, what for? <laughs> I said, it makes it look pretty. He says, we don't invite people over to the house. <laughs> See me smiling. I think I'm clever. He said, it's not like we're going to be like, come for a house tour. Here is the bedroom with 27 pillows. I said, we don't even have 27 pillows. <laughs> oh, I think I'm clever. Anyway, that's also sort of the colour scheme I was going for. Greys, whites and maybe some black highlights. I don't know. All right. It's time for bed. We'll see you tomorrow.
so it's tomorrow <laughs> welcome to the bedroom and i'm only filming this side of hubby's bed because we picked up all the clothes that he had on the floor because no one wants to see someone's underwear <laughs> And as you can see, uh, we're back to this mess again. My room is always the dump hole and it's always my side of the bed that's messy and everything else. So half of the mess in the house is all mine. And I can tell you that without a doubt, absolutely. Um, here's half the kitchen cutlery and cups and everything else on my bedside table. And it is a disaster. So rule number one, they say with anyone trying to clean you need to get changed and you need to get dressed to shoes because putting your shoes on helps to keep you motivated and moving but also for me i have like an undiagnosed plantar fasciitis either way my feet hurt if i don't wear shoes and i move around a lot the arch of my foot does drop a bit and it aches and yeah we're also filming a little tiktok video right now so yeah <laughs> enjoy I moved the camera to a hook type thing over the door. Oh, I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> All right, here's the quilt cover that I was telling you guys about. It's absolutely yellow on the other side of it, so I think washing is gonna do nothing. I would be more than happy to strip wash it because I wanna donate something super clean. And then, yeah, this is a bit of the dump or pile that I have here. Oh, that purple thing, that was my nighty. That somehow was under the bed, which was interesting because I've been looking for that for about two weeks. Um, so yeah, that's probably just giving myself away. The last time I did a major clean out of the bedroom and there's a whole lot of dust bunnies under there as well. And some of this stuff I do know was clean washing and it was in a basket. And I remember the basket fell over because I think I walked into it in the middle of the night. And of course I had every intention of picking up the next day and I never got around to it. So we're just kind of sorting everything out. Basically, if it's on the floor, it's going to get picked up. 
and it's going to get washed because that's what it is and I will still continue to make a little bit of a pile of some stuff and sort it out later. Uh, as far as all the crafting bits and pieces go I'm just kind of gonna pile it all up again it's the best way that I can and I'll sort that out another time.
I'm very impressed with some of my editing skills and especially transitions like this going from low to high. So I've been having fun editing parts of this video as well. I have cut some bits out when I was cleaning under the bed because at one point um, I bent over right in front of the camera and I was like, oh, no one needs to see that. And also I bent forward and you could see my entire front down my shirt and I thought, oh, let's not put that on the internet. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this was a bag of Easter eggs that yes, I got post Easter. They've been hiding in my room. Now I need to put them away in a safe spot and hope that I remember that they're here. And these other ones are going to go into the baking cupboard, which hopefully I will do in like a pantry bake off later. I feel like closing all the cupboard doors and drawers just helped make the room look a little bit neater. I really wanted to paint it white so it would be a really good room, but I asked on the internet and so many people said, no, don't do that, it's oak or something, I don't know. Plus, I'm a terrible painter, so it's not going to look good, at least this way it looks really good. Um, the mat that was on the floor, it's just a bath mat. I got it from Kmart, it was $12, uh, probably got it about five or six years ago, and I'm going to move it out because it's always getting dusty and dirty as well as the floor. I'm forever sweeping the floor. Are you guys always sweeping in your house? Our house seems to get so dirty and dusty. But the, also, there's always tissues everywhere because I always have a tissue 
inside my bra no matter what I'm doing especially if I'm teaching Zumba and I my nose will just start running it's so crazy or I get sweat it's just quick to grab a tissue and to help wipe it away and when I get undressed at the end of the night tissues just fall out everywhere I forget so <laughs> I'm always cleaning all those things up and we have a whole lot of pile of dishes on the bedside table as well so the big cup and the biscuits were from my daughter but the coffee cup and the bowl of breakfast were mine that I just tended to have left there <laughs> so whoops and I'll take those back to the kitchen and then just finish doing a general tidy up I'm really happy with how this looks now and I'm actually happy that I took the quilt cover off too. I think it just gives the bedroom a little bit more of a softer look. Um, as I said, I'm not really here for display, but hey, it's semi halfway to where I want it to be. So that's always good. All right, back to the bathroom and the next layer of picking things up is now find all the clothes so we found all the towels and now we're going to find all the clothes or materials or whatever other bits and pieces that we need and again we're going to make some more piles in the corridor and then we're going to go through systematically and wash all the bits and pieces so pretty much now i'm looking for all my zumba clothes <laughs> A Zumba lady melted in the bathroom and then we'll come back and pick up all the other bits and pieces our bathroom gets pretty messy I would love to say girls live here but my daughter and I aren't really a girly girl it's just that this is mess and yeah when the bin gets full people don't tend to empty it it just overflows and I haven't cleaned out the bathroom cupboard like I said I would shoulda coulda woulda what can I say um there's various bits and pieces in here so we'll tidy it all up and then in another video coming up <laughs> we will do an actual bathroom cupboard makeover and sort out all the stockpiling put everything in organized rows and containers and have it look good for at least a week <laughs>
I actually thought about keeping in the sound of the vacuum cleaner because for me it's actually quite soothing and it would make me want to get up and vacuum as well and luckily there's no one in the background flushing toilets or doing anything because <laughs> that's how some of the editing has gone because I've been like oh you can hear someone go into the toilet <laughs> and also some of the walking backwards and forwards I've cut out because I've got stopped in another room to talk or whatnot so an organized person I know would have like the broom and the vacuum cleaner already in the corridor ready to go so they can just grab it but no I have to walk backwards and forwards room to room I've got my step tracker on today I did about 3,000 steps so I'm quite impressed with that okay we're in the uh, laundry and laundry floor and it's a mess what can i say so there's just stuff as per usual that's been dumped here some of the stuff was clean as well so it's an absolute nightmare i have to rewash it all and then there's just general rubbish and other stuff the laundry cupboard again is a complete disaster but we will reorganize that another day i'm just getting video upon video of ideas <laughs> It's never ending. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not already because every Tuesday there will be a cleaning video for you guys to clean along with me. I had to laugh watching this um, on so many pieces of the clothing there are pegs <laughs> so I know that these things were clean because I would have grabbed them in such a hurry with the rain coming and the pegs have stayed on all the pieces and the linen cupboard is right next door you keep seeing me bending around the corner and shoving stuff in there so yeah I'm just basically moving things from place to place and again we will resort out the linen cupboard I cleaned it all out on the big Easter clean out, but now I really want to sort out where everything is going to go, especially now that there's no more books in there and other random things that I have no idea how they ended up in there. But yeah, that's what happens.
I love vacuuming. It's probably one of my most favorite things to do. I think I love the sound, but also the sound of picking up dirt. <laughs> I love it. I have here a Dyson V7. I got it from Big W. It was on sale for $399 like two years ago. Um, I can't remember if it was pre-pandemic or post I know I had it in the November lockdown because I did a whole lot of cleaning and stuff, so I'd have to go back and look. But yes, it goes on sale quite often for three ninety nine. dollars um, Again, it is great vacuum cleaner, uh, but after a good solid 20 minutes of vacuuming, the battery dies. So that's probably the only thing. I've seen people say that they boost it by adding in like one of the big fat... Um, batteries you can get with all the other power packs and stuff with the power tools uh so i don't know i'd be tempted to give it a hack though because sometimes i like to do a lot of vacuuming a lot of cleaning and having to go back and charge all the time just doesn't work and you can't plug it in and use it while it's charging it doesn't work so i thought i was clever to do that but no right we are finally on to washing our zumba clothes <laughs> It's taken all day, but at least we're here and we can get them washed and then we can get them hung up. Uh, the really good thing about my Zumba clothes is that they don't take long to dry at all. So even if I wash them really late at night, by the morning, they're usually dry-ish. Um, sometimes my bras take a little bit longer to dry, which is frustrating, but yeah, it just means I need to keep a bit more organized. I will put a link down below too. I'm using a Lucent Globe washing sheet and these, you can get a discount on them. They sent me them for a promo and I love them for my Zumba clothes. It just makes washing so easy. So yeah, as you can see here, a few hours later, I completely forgot that the washing machine finished and I got sidetracked doing a few other bits and pieces and also making dinner and just doing stuff. And so now it's back to the good old clothes horse and dryer because it was it just hit about six o'clock by the time that I remembered and the weather was just so cold outside and I thought there is no way that I'm putting these outside because it's going to rain all night. So let's just put it on the inside. As I said, they'll dry pretty quickly. So I'm lucky for that. But yeah, it's just now there's no more room to do other stuff. So <laughs> the laundry is probably one of those tasks in the house that I love and hate. I love it because I have clean things, but sometimes there's just so many steps to doing stuff which is really frustrating so yeah as I mentioned it's Monday evening and I've got the towels from yesterday they're finally dry so I'm folding all those up to put them away and of course the clothes horse keeps collapsing on me and you can see the pillows over on the couch that are there they are still super damp um, they took about four or five days to dry. I ended up just leaving them on top of the clothes horse here. They stayed there for, yeah, until the end of the week. Um, but yeah, and, and I still want to strip wash them. <laughs> so we've got a whole nother washing cycle to go. So stay tuned.
this pile of clothes, um, I don't even know how long they've been here for. <laughs> Some of them on the side arm, they were here from earlier yesterday because I pulled them off of the clothes horse to just dump them there. But the clothes on the back of the couch that's there, they've been there forever and a day. And also there's a couple of things here that I want to strip wash. A couple of hubby's jumpers. They just have like that wax feel to them. So I know that it's time to give it a really good strip wash. And he hasn't worn this jumper for ever and a day. Probably because I keep saying I'm going to wash it. We don't own a lot of clothes. But the things that we do we kind of just wear all the time. Because it's what we do. So when I go, yeah, I'm going to wash that and it gets put out of the way or in a special safe spot, it tends to just stay there <laughs> and we kind of just forget about it, out of sight, out of mind. So that's also why we just tend to wear the same things every week because they're the things that we see all the time. So they're the first things we grab and the first things we use. Okay, we are back to the bedroom to put everything away. I'm just moving the camera angle because I wasn't sure how much moving of this area I needed to do. So I thought I would just make sure I captured everything in here. And I'm so proud of myself for actually coming and putting those clothes away immediately. Otherwise, I know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to dump the pile somewhere. No, I will put the basket down somewhere. And then someone's going to decide that they want the basket. And I've actually noticed that I probably have two baskets inside one another. How I got two baskets, I don't know. But anyway, and the pile of clothes is going to get dumped somewhere. And they're going to end up on the floor. And then guess what? We're going to end up <laughs> back where we were at the start of this video. And as enjoyable as I'm sure that would be for you to go through this whole thing again, I really don't enjoy just doing things to make myself insane. Um, that's the definition of insanity, doing things over and over again and expecting a different result. <sighs> What's new? So this basket also is just all of the underwear and the socks and stuff like that. And I have the drawers next to my bedside table that I dump everything in. <gasps> Look, a matching pair of socks and they're winter as well. Hoo -hoo! I only have about three pairs of winter socks and I can never find a pair um, so that's exciting. <laughs> uh, I tend to just dump stuff into my drawers as well. I don't tend to fold a lot of stuff up because I do spend time organizing and folding it all up. And then by the end of the week, it's just a complete disaster. So at least if I just do massive macro categories and just dump everything in there, then I know where all of the underwear is 
in all of its drawers and I can grab stuff as I need to go, which makes things easier. Let me know how you organize your cupboards and bedrooms. I would love to know because we all have our things that we do. done three second dance party Woohoo! thank you so much for joining with me guys i so appreciate you and i look forward to seeing you next time bye